Hello, YouTube! I'm here in my studio and I'm getting ready to cut up some more canvases. As you guys have seen in the last couple of videos, I like to use scrap tin as a background for most of my paintings, especially the rock and roll paintings, you know? It's some metal. Some tin. <laughs> anyway, here's the tin. Here's my studio. It's dark in here, I apologize. I, I like the natural light to work. My niece and nephew, a portrait of, I started in watercolor, but haven't finished. And I, I goofed up a little bit on it, so I stopped working on it. Got in one of those moods. Y'all may remember this background from, uh, you know what today is? And uh, right here is where I do it. I'll, because uh, I use tin, it doesn't really like to stay on the easel, so I'll uh, attach it to this wall, this wall, or this wall, depending on the size, and uh, paint it from there. Here's an easel I have. I was using it as a tripod for my camera because my camera is my phone. And when it gets hot, blow the nutty bags a little bit. Some stairs, a little loft I have. Real nice, cool. And uh, living room goes through there, kitchen through there. That is, uh, I don't know, it is behind the sheetrock. So, some kiss rock and roll over. That's my laundry room in there. So this is the studio, guys. Thank you very much. I'm going to get ready to cut up this tin into sections. There's one of my pups right here. His name is Max. I got him from somebody else. He was named Max before I got him, I promise you. I'm not that much of a narcissist. Here's the tin, like I said. I'm gonna cut it up into little sections and then uh, figure out what I'm gonna paint. I think today I'm painting Lemmy or another Bowie, different Bowie though, not the same photograph, not the same print out, I should say. It wasn't really a photograph. It was like an altered, it was an altered photo printed. What? So, that's the deal. You wanna see me do it? Come along. This is a piece that I trimmed off of the Glenn Fry photo painting that I did. It was a little long when I did it, so I just trimmed it up to make it look even. So this is what the scrap looks like. I don't know, something can cool going there, right? Maybe I'll put Max Dean. Probably not. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll be back. No leave. Now, a normal person working with tin would probably get some tin snips and uh, cut it like that. They're big, bulky, like plier, but they have scissor edges on them. It's only about three inches long, some of them. I actually have a set that I can't find. So, got some old schools right here, baby. Huh? Hey, don't cut yourself. Whoa, I almost cut myself. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut this to dimensions that I think I could use, so. And I like to look for the, the damaged tin. It has big holes and cracks and, and garbage in it. So I like to leave that in for the canvas, you know, because it gives it, depending on who I'm doing, it looks cool, you know? So I'll probably cut it about, I don't know, right, right here, right past this. And it's relatively simple, but you gotta wear gloves and glasses. So you don't accidentally get some shavings in your eyeballs. I don't have any gloves, good luck. And look, it, they could be lefties if you want them to be. Look at that, huh? That's old school. Check those babies out right there, huh? School. All right. Where does that say, about here? Okay, right here. See, this, this old tin is so thin, I can just cut it with these. That's really good. I wouldn't use those little bitty scissors. These ones probably be better. And honestly, you should wear a glove because it's, it's sharp. Cutting it, you don't have to go like in a straight line because it's cracked up and jacked up anyway. So if you do go a little jagged barbed wire crazy, it works. 
the, the, the key is lift up one side and leave one side down so you have enough room to cut. Because if you just try to cut it, lay it down flat and cut it, it's like this and cut it, it's not going to work. You're, you don't get nowhere fast and just end up making yourself mad. So follow the rules, people. canvas ready to roll so that's the idea if uh, you want to do this at home be safe be careful like I said don't do it I do I've been doing it for a long time so I trust myself I've already cut myself and you know so been there done that now I know what to do if you're doing it wear protection for your eyes wear some gloves on your hands they don't have to be great fantastic gloves but maybe some leather garden gloves or just those white gloves with the little black grip on them. You know, those ones you see for like a dollar at the dollar store. Any gloves, just to prevent yourself from getting cut. A, a golf glove. Hey, got a golf glove? I think that one goes, if you're right-handed, it goes on enough. So if you're left-handed, get a golf glove. What? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon, bye. Oh, like, subscribe, and all that. Comment, and tell me what you think. Max, what is it? Just Max Dean at gmail.com if you want to leave me any kind of a uh, I suck or anything like that. Thanks. Thanks.